Deep in the Amazon rainforest is a little creature that looks out over his habitat. It is a pygmy marmoset. His habitat is intersected by mysterious rivers. We are here in the Peruvian Amazon in northwestern South America, east of the Andes. Here in the northeast of Peru where the meeting of several smaller tributaries together form the Amazon River. Causes heavy rainfall in the eastern Andes that the rainforest floods seasonal. Overflows due to seasonal rainfall the watersheds of the upper Amazon in Peru. The river water overflows the surrounding forest to a height of 6 to 7 meters, for a period of 10 months per year. When the water level drops again, the forests rise again from the water. Wildlife recaptures its borders and the intense heat returns. Few places on our planet are as mysterious and impressive as the Amazon rainforest. Towering tropical trees and winding rivers form a vast and fertile river basin. With an amazing set of flora and fauna, found nowhere else on Earth. The pygmy marmoset shares its habitat with a large variety of other animals. Like this sloth who, as usual, is not too busy. Sloths spend almost their entire life hanging upside down in the trees. It is very different with the woolly monkeys. These move easily through the treetops. Woolly monkeys also have prehensile tails that help them. Usually they live in quite large groups. And they often stay in the canopy of the tallest trees. When climbing, they use intermediate branches to form a crossover for their young. The river winds itself as a main road through the jungle. 
This waterway is the main access road to the interior of the northern half of South America. That is why we followed the river to our final destination. The habitat of our little giant. The pygmy marmoset. You will encounter various types of forests along the river. Some are dense, jungle-like rainforests. Others are more open forests with palms. But they all have one common characteristic, abundant rainfall. The flooded jungle is a seasonal phenomenon that only takes place in a part of the jungle. The landscape changes and temporarily flowering trees on the waterfront with overhanging branches full of fruit attract many birds and monkeys. If you follow the river you will discover a large variety of bird species. We're under the little hummingbird. Red-headed cardinal. Different types of dracomers. Troupials and tanagers. And a well known species in the northern Amazon basin is the black nun bird. A wood creeper is preparing his nest cavity to start breeding. While the man from the yellow rumped cacique is busy with his courtship dance, the female started the construction of their basket nest. Deeper in the jungle, in a termite nest, the beginning of a nest entrance can be seen. It is the beginning of a nest cavity of a pair of trogons. Trogons breed in cavities. They dig their nest in decaying wood. Or termite nests. The female is working to further deepen the nest. The male only comes by for control. Males of the wire-tailed mannequin practice their courtship dance. Hoping that a female comes along for mating. And when she appears, the males are danced at their best and exuberant. But she has little interest so next time better. The Jacomers live along the edges of the river. 
jacamars are real insectivores. They take a wide variety of insects. But they specialize in butterflies and moths. Who catch them from a fixed seat in their flight. The bluish fronted jacamar we see here is a ground nesting species. They dig out a nest cavity in the riverbank in a sheltered place. This couple has already hungry young in their nest, and that is why they fly off and on with all kinds of insects. The turquoise tanagers are also busy feeding their young. Constantly they drag on fruits and insects. After feeding, they take the stool of the young in a package. That way they keep the nest clean. Following the river you sometimes have an unexpected encounter with a special inhabitant of the rainforest. A group of noisy giant otters. The giant otter is a social day animal. Shortly after sunrise they leave their hollow to go back in just before sunset to go to sleep. It is a real water animal and a good swimmer. Giant otters often hunt for fish in groups. When they get alarmed, all group members come together to protest loudly against ear presence.
One of the most recognizable sounds of the Amazon forest is the call of the screaming paiha. Constantly you hear the call of one, which later is answered by another. A group of small frog species live among the bromeliads. The poison dart frogs. Striking are their often bright colors. High in the trees an animal surrounded by a large swarm of flies and mosquitoes. It is the tree anteater. The tamandua. The tamandua is for most part of the day, a night active animal. With his sense of smell he mainly goes in search of the spherical nests of tree dwelling ants and termites. With his sharp front claws he breaks open the nests, and with his 16 inch long sticky tongue he takes the ants out of the nest. The call of the noisy chakalaka echoes across the lake. A typical bird which occurs in swampy areas is the hoatan. A strange bird that lives exclusively from plant material. Because of this vegetable menu and its bacterial digestion, they have a terrible smell around them. That's why they also give them the name stink bird. A pair of white-bellied parrots drink rainwater from a hollow in a tree. Monkeys that prefer the dense jungle along the river are the titty monkeys. They live in family groups consisting of parents with their young.
High in the treetops a group of squirrel monkeys head through the jungle. They jump from tree to tree with great jumps. Some with a young on their back. Squirrel monkeys live together in large groups with males and females. But only the mothers take care of their young. And carry these on their backs for several months. when they have reached their favorite tree. The youth starts to frolic and romp. to end up with the fruits in the tree. Squirrel monkeys are omnivorous, which means that they eat everything. Fruit, insects but also seeds, leaves, flowers, nuts and eggs that they steal from nests. Further down the river, a few night monkeys react startled.
a shy and suspicious monkey is the Saki monkey. That is why they only live high in the trees. When two Sakis meet in the forest, they greet each other with a kiss. Because of his long hairy coat the Saki monkey seems much heavier than he really is. A short sprint for another meeting with a kiss. The river bank always gives new encounters. This time a hermit hummingbird. A group of foraging macaws. At the end the river brings us to the habitat of our little giant. The pygmy marmoset. Pygmy marmosets are the smallest of all monkeys. And one of the smallest primates in the world. The pygmy marmosets do not live in large groups. But usually in family groups of three to six. Exceptional is already with 10. These family groups live scattered throughout the rainforest. And each group of marmosets has only a small habitat. Slightly less than half an acre. The reason for this is that, in order to feed, they depend on a few trees that stand together. Their main diet is quite different from that of other monkey species. They need a diet that is rich in carbohydrates. Therefore, their diet consists for the most part, about 80% of gum from the trees. With their sharp teeth they make holes is the tree bark, so that the gum can drip out. This is a long-term process, so it takes time again and again before they can eat. That is why they spend many hours a day on the various holes to lick the gum, and why they live in the same restricted area for a longer period of time.
when some trees become exhausted. They start carefully making holes in a new tree nearby. The fingernails of the pygmy marmoset are like claws, so that they can easily walk up and down along the tree trunks. And when they are not busy looking for gum, is their bonding big and they spend all their free time together. They can spend hours grooming each other and cuddle. Pygmy marmosets are also omnivorous. Because besides their main food of 80% gum, they also eat insects and fruit. When they hunt for insects they slowly sneak over the branches towards it. Then to grab them with a jump. They are mostly butterflies and dragonflies which are also attracted by the sweet gum. if it is in the season that the trees carry fruit. Do they like to benefit from the fruits?
but it always ends with their favorite activity. Cuddle and love each other. We can only look at it in amazement. Because in the end we are only visitors in this wonderful world. Here in the northeast of Peru. Where the landscape is covered with vast rainforests. So spectacular and overwhelmingly beautiful. That if you get the chance, you should experience this wilderness yourself. The homeland of our little giant. The pygmy marmoset.